good evening, wherever you are. Myself, Sriya Disha Maheshwari, a proud Pintrama and your faculty for management accounting. Welcome to the revision short number four. In this particular revision short, we are going to revise liquidity ratio. But before that, just first quickly revise from which chapter this belongs. This belongs to the chapter performance measurement. So in performance measurement, basically what we do in performance measurement, we measure the performance of the organization on various techniques, using various techniques. And one of the techniques for measuring performance is through ratio. And under the ratio, we have a liquidity ratio. So liquidity ratio teaches us what? It teaches us that what is my solvency position? How much funds do I have to pay off my short-term liability? And for that, we have two specific ratio. The one ratio is the current ratio. Very famous, very popular ratio, the current ratio. And the formula, very very simple current assets divided by current liability. So this ratio basically measures that how much current assets do we hold to pay off my current liability. And normally it's being said that you should hold twice the current assets, like your current asset should be twice of your current liability. So in case some of the current assets, if shrinks, still you left with sufficient amount of current assets by which you can pay off your current liability. So if the current ratio is like 2 is to 1, 3 is to 1, it's good for the organization, but it should not be too much, like, you know, it should not be 10 is to 1 or something like in that particular scenario you are holding too much amount of you know current assets in comparison to current liability and you are blocking your funds and you are not investing in a good way so that should not also the case and if it's, it's too low like 0.8 or 0.5 that is also not a good thing because in that particular scenario your solvency position is hitting you don't have sufficient amount of funds to pay off your current liability that's the first ratio and the second ratio under the category of liquidity ratios is basically quick ratio or we also call it asset test ratio. This ratio is a little bit conservative in comparison to your you know current ratio. Why it is conservative? Because it consider like in current assets it consider only those current assets from which we can quickly uh, you know uh, you, which we can quickly convert into cash. So basically because of that reason from the current assets, they subtract inventories and the prepaid expenses because, of course, prepaid expenses cannot be converted into cash. And if I talk about inventory, if you want to convert inventory into cash, it will take a huge amount of time because first you have to, you know, con con if it's a raw material, you have to convert into WIP finished goods, then you have to make a sale and then you will eventually realize funds from there. So that's why in a quick ratio, the formula changes little bit. Over here, if I talk about quick assets, it's include current assets minus inventories minus the prepaid expenses and divided by current liability. It only take those current assets which can easily be converted into cash. So it's more conservative in comparison to your current ratio. So in this revision short, what we have understood, we understood that our organization performance in terms of liquidity can be measured through two ratios, the current and the quick ratio. Current ratio includes all the current assets, wherein quick ratio excludes some of the current assets because it's more conservative and it considers only those current assets which can be easily converted into cash. So that's it for this revision short. I will be seeing you in the next revision short. Till then, this is Sridhar Maheshwari signing off. Thank you.